We're going to talk about a movie that has come out from A24. Alan and I saw this at a recent film festival together a couple weeks ago. The film is called Past Lives. If you've seen the trailer, it's a simple story of uh, two young Korean children who, who were friends, deep, deep friendship. Uh, they're kids, and the young woman's family moves away. She moves to New York City, to America with her she family. She moves to Canada, actually. Oh, excuse me. That's right. Canada. It, they're in, it feels like New York. Sorry. She moves to Canada, and uh, her, her family then settles in that country. They reconnect as adults, but she's married someone else. Uh, that's the simple version of the story that you'll get from the trailer. Uh, Alan, what did you think of Past Lives? Yeah, uh, I really like this one. Uh, it's it's hard for me to buy into a lot of romances, and this is one. And I think I think why this movie succeeds is the writing, the writing and the direction. And and it's by Celine Song. This is her first movie. Uh, I think she did a dabble on a TV show, but this is her first feature film, and it's it's amazing. Uh, just how well crafted and constructed this movie is, and uh, you know, the, look, it's a romance. Uh, it's if if it leaves you emotionally messed up at the end, uh, then it did its job, and I, I think this one did. And and a lot of it is uh, the the thrust of this movie takes place in the third act, where uh, where Hay, uh, hey, the guy, comes to New York to visit uh, Nora, who's now married, and her husband. And and hey and Nora kind of go on a date, and that kind of leaves the husband as the third wheel. And this this dynamic plays out in such an interesting and and I feel like authentic way, not for comedy but for drama. That this movie just succeeds in so many ways. And you know, you cut out or like immediately after the movie was over, but the uh, the uh, the Q and A afterwards. I mean, she Celine put a lot of thought into this movie and a lot into how she filmed the movie. And so it's just really a master class in romance. Um, and uh, and again, I can't believe this is her first movie. Yeah, like, yeah. no, no, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah um, I, first of all, it's just refreshing to see a romance, mm -hmm. right? And not a romantic comedy. This is purely a romance about two childhood friends who never had the opportunity I mean, I feel like if they had grown up together, they would have become involved. They would have been boyfriend and girlfriend, but they just were at the, it was, they were like the right age to be close friends, but not quite be boyfriend and girlfriend yet. Mm -hmm. And so when they part, it's, it's tragic and you really feel that. And it's just, just, you know, this, the lack of like, I mean, it's almost like romance as a genre is just doesn't exist yeah romance and comedies i mean the, the other thing is you know hey happy happy pride by the way um yeah. you know it's it's a straight couple <laughs> so, yeah that's weird it's weird it's like oh not only is it a, a genre you don't normally see a romance but it's like oh they're straight and there's no uh there's not which is feels weird like oh wow we don't get yeah. a lot of this these it's like harkening back to a a, a a time long ago <laughs> right 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 but the other thing is is the lead actress is fantastic yeah, Greta Lee yeah she really carries it like having to balance this because she is devoted and genuinely in love with her husband but what what she sees in hay is a life that could have been yeah so the, the interesting thing about that is that hay doesn't speak English she only speaks Korean and her yeah and her husband knows a little bit of Korean Mm -hmm. And she is kind of caught between the emotions, the feelings of these two and having to kind of interpret uh, between the two of them. And, she, you know, th there's that dynamic there now that she has, you know, seeing seeing the emotions of uh, of each person and then having to process that in her own life. Yeah, it's uh, I, I really love this film. I really it's it's the performances, the the fact that it's like a genre that. Used to be, it used to be, we would take for granted. We would take for granted that, oh, there's, this is a romance, this is a romance, but it seems like every romance has to be, you know, filled with 
comedy and then I'm running to the airport yeah. and will they get together? Oh yeah, they will because that's how every romantic comedy is the same. There's sort of a, there's been a sameness in the genre that I think has killed it. And what's interesting about past lives, it takes it very seriously. Mm -hmm. The cultural, uh, the cultural differences and the dynamic, you actually see how Nora like meets her husband. You know, they meet at this kind of writer's retreat or whatever. So uh, I, I thought that that was, I thought that was really well, well played. And I'm sorry, I missed the Q and A. I had to, I had to go, I had to go to Pasadena to see a punk band, but um, no, it just, I had to go, but sure. uh, she was there, the actress who played Nora. Yes. And um, I, I just thought she was like, could, because she could, she very easily went from English to Korean. And I, I feel like we're going to see her in, her in other things. So. Yeah. I mean, she gets a bit parts in big projects. Um, right. But she's very good in this. And, and you know, you mentioned, you know, the, you know, the, the hyper stylized uh, Hollywood romance. The other element to that is the celebrity. You know, you want to see Tom and Meg kind of fall in love. And this one is kind of nice not to see. You see familiar people, but not stars, so to speak. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, I would say another home run for a 24. Um, it, you have to be, you really do have to be in the mood to see this, to see a, a romance. that's not a romantic comedy, but uh, I, I really enjoyed it and I strongly recommend it. 